Hey, hi guys. This is Bakapa Chincholikar. Welcome back to tutorial on how to develop Selenium Cucumber BDD framework. In the today's tutorial, we'll talk about how to attach screenshot into extent report version 4 for each steps in Cucumber Selenium framework. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed how to attach screenshot into extent report version 4 for failed test scripts in Cucumber Selenium framework. Before that, we have discussed how to generate extent report version 4 in Cucumber with Selenium framework using page object model concept. And before that, we have discussed how to implement basic listeners in Selenium Cucumber framework. So let us talk about how to attach screenshot in extend report version 4 for each steps. Doesn't matter whether it is passed or failed. So let us jump to the Eclipse ID. So in the previous tutorial, we have created a simple two methods that create the screenshot and it attach attaches to the extent report. So if I open this particular class under com.testautomation.listeners, so I have opened extent report listener.java file. So if I open this file, so we have implemented these two methods. First one, met first method is for capturing the screenshot and it places in the somewhere in the system. So that depends on the destination what we have what we are specifying the path to store the screenshot then finally it is returning you the destination so where exactly your screenshot exists with the screenshot name so this particular method is going to return us the unique number based on the month date year hour min minutes seconds and milliseconds so this particular method we have called in the test step handle method. So we have called that particular method in the in this try block, try and cache block. So we need to pass the driver to this particular capture screenshot and it captures and it will return you the path where exactly that particular screenshot exists. So that's it. So Today's tutorial will discuss how to add the screenshot for each steps. So let me open this particular future file, YouTube channel validation dot future file. So let me navigate to the each step and we will discuss how to attach the screenshot for each step. So first I'm navigating to the open Chrome browser with URL. So if I navigate to this particular method, so what you need to do after writing a log into the extent report, this particular log we are writing into the extent report called open Chrome browser and enter the URL. So after that, I wanted to take the screenshot. What I need to do is I will use this particular log info reference variable. Then I will call to the one inbuilt method called add screenshot so here you are getting screen capture from path you are getting from basic 64 string you are getting so here i'm selecting the third method so add screen capture from path so it is accepting the argument as image path so i will select that particular method then here i'm going to call to the method which which is there in the extent report listener class so if i go down here we had implemented in the previous tutorial this particular method so it takes the driver object and it returns you the screen shot where exactly exist with the unique name so i'll copy this particular name simply i will call to this particular method in the step definition class then I will pass the driver to this particular method. 
so that's it so basically this par particular method is returning us the screenshot name and with the path so i have specified for add screen capture from the path so that's it <clears throat> just i will copy this particular statement let us navigate to the second step so second step when we have in the when keyword we have search selenium tutorial just i will go to that particular method sorry step so after writing a log to the extent report i am going to call, call to the same method what we have written in the first step just i copied and pasted this particular line so let us do it same for the next two steps so i am navigating to the third step and i am just pasting it here in the same way i will go to the step number four that is then so before quitting the browser so after logging after writing a logs to the extent report version 4 so just simply i will paste it here so that's it done so let us execute this program so as we are in the test runner we are pointing to the annotation that is at extent report tag so we have same name in the future file as well so let us go and execute testng.xml file so this time it has to capture the screenshot for each of the steps so irrespective of the failure or whether it is passed or failed so it is searching with the search criteria then it has clicked on the search button it has clicked on the channel name then it is validating the page title so that's it it is got executed let us refresh the reports folder so i will open extent underscore report.html file so if i open this file see guys so in the first step this is our first step so if you look at here icon it has attached the screenshot for each step so let us open first screenshot so after entering the url so we are getting this particular screen so in the next step we are searching the selenium tutorial so if i click on this so it has entered the selenium by bakapa keyword in the search box that is the second step we have if you look at the third step click on channel name so it, if i click on this icon see it has entered into the channel that particular channel name after in after clicking on the channel name it has navigated to the channel detail page so next step <clears throat> so as it is got failed so it will capture the that particular screen so this is how you can add the screenshot for each step in the step definition class so this framework we have implemented from the scratch we have created a maven project then we have customized our project and we have created multiple folders to maintain and manage the better code so that's all i have in this session if you have any questions or any issues please comment in the comment section so i can help you on that if you want to get more updates from this particular channel so you have to click on subscribe button so thank you thank you very much for watching this tutorial on how to develop selenium cucumber bdd framework so Stay tuned on next tutorial on how to update SK status in status in Excel file.